What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're we full worst fairy type Pokemon team. So, uh, with this team, I picked the fairy type Pokemon that always come out as to be the worst. All the time, I did a fair bit of research into this one. But what do you think is the worst fairy type? Leave it below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories. Anyway, people, I am streaming on Twitch nights. So if you do want to come through, watch that shiny hunting and chill. I'd love to see you there. Anyone is welcome there. Uh, link is in the description of the video. We'll probably be streaming about an hour after this video goes live. If you're, you're a little bit late to the, uh, you know, to the video, open that second tab, hear my voice twice, and uh, I know you'll love it. Let's see if we can shoot for a thousand likes on this video, people, and let's get into it. This is the battle on my Discord. This one was against Eckhart, and we got a double Wiggly Tough lead. So, unfortunately, the Wiggly Tough set I was running was a special one, so it wasn't really cut out to versing another Wiggly Tough. Uh, you know, it has a fair bit of health, and it could probably tank my attacks fairly nicely. Guys, it was a good thing I swapped out there, right? Because you would have seen some pink wiggly action. I may have had to blur that one. Anyway, so we got a Z move coming from my Dendy here. Now, this Dendy set was a physical one. Gets a couple of interesting uh, physical moves. So we got Thunder Punch, Play Rough. It actually gets Iron Tail, which I really needed on this team. And we've also got Super Fang. Now I've got Max Attack and Max Speed, and I've got the Steelium Z as, uh, you know, for Iron Tail there. And he hits pretty dang hard. All right, so hitting that uh, Wiggly Tough pretty dang hard, and that is going to nearly take it out there. It's going to be in range to take out with a uh, Thunder Punch or Play Rough afterwards too. Okay, so the Wiggly Tough is going to land a Toxic on me. It's probably like a more of a bulky stalling one, so I was kind of happy to get rid of it this early on in the game. I mean, if they swapped out, it would only be on like a low amount of health, and it would be easy to take out later on. So I wasn't too concerned by the Toxic. Now I can just go for the Thunder Punch and uh, take it out there, and uh, that is the Wiggly Tough down, which is a nice uh, Pokemon to bury early on in the game. So with this team right, guys, as you, as you could probably guess, Poison types, uh, Steel types, they were very, very annoying to go up against. Um, I, I got swept uh, quite a few times. Anyway, so we got, speaking of Steel types, we got the Foraches coming, which is going to go for a Bide. And I went for a Super Fang. Oh, dear. So basically, Foraches, as you guys know, is a very tanky Pokemon. There is no way I'm going to be able to get around this thing uh, before the Bide or Unleash Energy happens. So I was thinking... Well, the best I can really do here is go for Thunder Punch and uh, the, you know, or, or the Super Fang again and try and uh, just revenge take this thing out afterwards. So sacking my, I have to sack my Dead here, go for another Super Fang and uh, Bide is going to hit the next turn and hit me with Unleashed Energy. Unleash Energy, unleashes energy against you people and it just, it just destroys you. It's such a, it's a very, very situational move, but if the, you know, the Pokemon is uh, tanky enough in the right situation, it can actually work. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go down to that one. Uh, but it did a good job. It got rid of two Pokemon. I'm very, very happy with that. I need a drink of water already. What the? What's going on, people? It's all this unleashed energy getting thrown at me. All right, so going into my Wigglytuff. Now, we've got Wigglytuff as a uh, special attacker. So we've got Max Health, Max Special Attack. we got the Assault Vest. Frisk is the ability. I've got a Frisk because I'm feeling frisky. And we've got... Man, I should have I should have done that pun earlier on with the two Wigglytuffs on the field. Damn. Not, I'm not on my game tonight. So taking out the Fortress with the Fire Blast, we've got Dazzling Gleam, Fire Blast, Ice Beam, and Focus Mist, and we got the Assault Vest as the item. All right, so we got the Mantine here. There really isn't much I can do with that. I'll, I'll low-key wish wishing I had Hidden Power Electric, and uh, I'm going to go into the Carving. But more on the Carving in a little second. So we've got the uh, Normalium Z on the Mantine, and uh, this is actually a physical Mantine because it's got Z Splash. So uh, even with Dreadful Attack, a plus three on the Mantine, we're still going to be fairly scary. And, uh, you know, Carbeck is definitely weak to water-type moves. So on this Carbeck set, we had Max Health and Max Special Attack. Uh, we had Toxic, Skill Swap, Ancient Power, and Rest. Okay, so we got Bullet Seed. It's going to get around my Sturdy. So we got Ability of Sturdy. We got the Iron Man's Chester Bread. Thank goodness it doesn't hit me the max amount of times because I definitely would have gone down. So going for the Toxic on the Man Time. I've, I've really got to, I've got to take this Pokemon out or they're going to get swept by a Bullet Seed Man Time. Man, I should, I should do a Man Time sweep like this. Uh, I've actually done a, a Z Splash one before. Um... I think this, the move set will be fairly similar. It's quite limited in uh, its physical moves. Okay, so swapping out the Carbink and going into Shenotic here, hoping for a Bullet Seed. And uh, if it does have Liquidation, which I thought it would, I'm going to be able to tank that one, uh, you know, okay too. So it's doing a, a little bit under half. Now, this Shenotic set was absolute garbage. It was the worst set on my team, which made it the funnest to use. Anyway, so we got the Mantine. Go for a bounce. Oh, boy. So uh, the Mantine is going to bounce up in the air. I'm going to go for the Giga Impact. Now, Shenotic has about three or four physical type moves, and none of them are stab. It doesn't have a stab grass move. It doesn't have a stab fairy move. It literally has, like, it's it's like Giga Impact Astonish, and one like a couple. Like, they're the best moves it gets. 
Anyway, so we got the bounce on the car big there. I'm stalling another turn out with the Toxic. Pretty much, I'm just waiting for this Mantide to go down the Toxic. There's nothing I can do. It's uh, it's way too scary. So now the Mantide's going to go for the Liquidation, and that is going to take out my Carping. But that's cool. Uh, it's going to go down very, very soon. You know, Carping uh, did its job there nicely. Man, if I had missed that Toxic on Mantide, it would have been devastating. Okay, so Mantide is on its last little legs if they're there. And I'm going to go into my shit right now. We know it's got Liquidation. We know it's got Bullet Seed. It can't use Bounce because it's going to go down while it's in the sky, even though I wish it did that. Uh, so it's going to go for the Liquidation. I've got a berry which is going to get my health back and uh, you know the man titan is going to go down So let's go over this amazing shenanigans set. If you guys ever get the pleasure of running this set if, 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 just, just use it alright, just use it So we've got Sunny Day, we've got Growth, Giga Impact and Astonish We've got Max <laughs> max Health and Max Attack We've got the ability as Effect Spore and I just put Iapa Bear on there for some health recovery So basically you get the Sunny Day up, the Scummy Day right Then you can go for the Growth So it's got really no other ways of boosting attack So if you go for the Growth and the Sun it's going to give it a plus 2 in attack right so then Giga Impact will actually do more than two damage. Anyway, so we got the Hippotus coming here. There's really nothing I can do. It's also going to be annoying and change the weather on me too. So go for the Scummy Day again. I want to get rid of that sand. So I was hoping, well, if they want to try and... Uh if they want to try and swap out and bring the sand back in, at least I can get a growth on the swap and get a plus two right. So uh, I pretty much walled by this Pokemon. I was pleasantly, happily surprised that they swapped out. And uh, now we got the Hound Dude coming. He's like, oh, uh, this is not very good. So I got the growth up anyway, growing a little bit. Uh, I got watered. And uh, now I've got the plus two in attack. So I can go for the Giga Impact. However, we got a physical Hound Dude. It's going to go for a Fire Fang boosted by the freaking sun and take me out. Oh, all I wanted to do was get a Giga Impact off. Anyway, guys, I got the effects for it. Poisoned it. This changes the entire game. It got rid of that Focus Ash, all right? It changed everything. So I still got a, you know, I still got a couple of Pokemon running. And uh, now we're going to go into my Gramble. Now, Gramble was probably the best set on my team. Uh, probably the most... Well, the probably... You know, I had two decent, okay sets on the team. So this was a quick feat, uh, Grand Ball. We got Max Attack, Max Speed. We got Play Rough, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Facade. We got the ability as Quick Feet and item as Toxic Orb. Now, no, normally you'd run... If you're going to run this set, a lot of the time it's handy to run Protect. But uh, I find you can usually play it... Uh, you know, to get, get a Pokemon to swap... And then, you know, kind of freeze your move set up as well instead of relying on Protect for that uh, instant quick feed boost uh, in speed. So anyway, we've got the Hippotus coming in. Go for the Ice Punch. It's a bulky, um, it's always a bulky of light set. I'm, on, I'm okay with that damage though. It's going to go for an Earth Power. So it's a special, uh, obviously it's got a special Earth Power set. Guys, I think this could be Max, max Health, Max Special Attack with the Everlight. I think this could be what I was those damage calls. I was, I was running it through my head. I'm pretty sure those what the damage calls were. Okay, so going for another Ice Punch. Just missing the KO there. And uh, now the Hippotus is going to go for the Earth Power. So we did see... Uh, we, actually, I do believe earlier in the battle we seen Protect right. But I thought it might be a little bit obvious to swap out here. So I decided to stay in and it's going to go for Protect. And that's going to take me out with the Sandstorm and the Toxic Damage. So down goes my Gramble, unfortunately. Now, there was one other Pokemon that was pretty good on my team, but all the rest were kind of average. Uh, this team was fairly... I, I guess Wigglytuff was okay as well. Um, the, the other Pokemon that's really, really garbage, which you know, which made the team pretty fun to use. Okay, so now we're going to go to my Mr. Mine. Now, this is a better set on my team. Um, this is a little bit more of a... This is a little bit of a gimmick too. I was running the um, Technician. Almost burped then. So, we're going to go for the Magical Leaf, which is going to take out the Hippo. So on this set, we got Confusion, Hidden Power Fighting, and the Nasty Plot, which is pretty nasty after it gets plus two in Special Attack because it's fairly strong. So we got the Dug Trio coming in here. It's going to go for the Flash Cannon. They're running a special Dug Trio. Like, oh, no. So I'm going to be able to live that one due to Dug Trio's this trash Special Attack. Hidden Power Fighting misses in the soon. Now the sand is going to, it's going to subside, people. It's, 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 we, we're, we're fine, all right? We're fine. So the Dug Tree is uh, going to set up that Sandstorm again. So I was praying. All I got to do is land one attack against this thing, and it's going to go down, uh, hopefully. So I get the Hidden Power off in the sand, and the Dug Tree is going to go down in one shot. Mr. Mime came in clutch there right at the end, and down goes the Dug Tree. Hope you guys enjoyed this first battle. Let's get on to the second one. So uh, we got a battle against Skylar on my chat. Never battled them before. And we got a Dragonite lead. So this actually wasn't too bad. I had uh, my Dead Nears lead. So I thought, okay, well, I can go for the Play Rough and uh, break the multi scale at least. So outspeeding the D-Knight, uh, doing some okay damage, I guess, with Play Rough. Now, Dragonite is going to be a, uh, it's a special set with the Ice Beam. So I'd say Ice Beam was, uh, I guess I couldn't use a Dragon type move. So that was obviously the next best move they wanted to use. If they, I mean, they could have Hurricane. 
Uh, but maybe they didn't want to miss. So going for the play rough, just missing the KO there. And uh, now it's going to go for an Ice Beam. And that's going to take me out with a crit. I think they, they could have been running a choice spec set there. I'm not too sure. Uh, regardless, it didn't matter too much. So Dragonite is in a you know, nice KO range here. Yeah, I actually thought about going for a Nasty Plot. Just in case something bad happens, like I've got free sacks, I'm just going to go for the Confusion and finish off the Dragonite. Why is it called Salt for? So that one's down. Uh, now we've got Goo Moon coming in, which is the Gastron. Now this, normally Gastron would be okay against Mr. Mime, but I love running Magical Leaf on uh, Mr. Mime with the Technician. Uh, you know, grass type, like Quag's Eyes, Swamp Hurts, Gastrons, they love to come into it, and uh, I love to Shrek them. So that one is down. Um, that crit definitely didn't matter either. Um, it's actually pretty powerful coming from Technician, Mr. Mime. Okay, so we got the uh, Ponytail meme coming in, and we got a Z move here. Now I needed to get a, uh, I need to get a confusion off against this thing. I need to have another drink, people. I actually didn't have a drink before. I said I was going to have one, but I didn't have one. So we got the Ponytail using its Z move, mm. and we got Pip Knight going for a drink. So we got the Supersonic uh, Scum Strike on my Mr. Mime. So this wasn't obviously this wasn't a uh, defensive set by any means, and I'm going to get hit very hard. But I lived on one health, and I got the nasty plot up. Can you guys believe that? Can you guys believe that I'm going to plug my merch again? Anyway, link is in the description. Thank you to the people that have bought all the merch so far. You guys are wild. Oh, we just used Wild Charge. Anyway, so I thought it was going to go for a Horn Drill, but it didn't. That's why I set up the nasty bot. So uh, that was a little bit nasty. Anyway, so I'm going to go into my Grable. As you guys know, this is a Quick Feed set. I'm pretty confident I can live anything this thing throws at me. And then I can get my Quick Feed up with a Toxic Orb and uh, start some sweeping. So we got the uh, Ponytail going for the Flare Blitz there. That was pretty impressive damage to Grable. I mean, it would have done less if I was running Intimidate, but I was running more of a, yeah, a sweeping set. So going for the Earthquake there, and uh, that's definitely going to be Ponytail down. We know that it doesn't have Everlight. It's already got a Z Crystal, but it wasn't. And I got burned for four. So anyway, we got the Grample uh, somehow not carrying the uh, Ponytail with the uh, burn from the Flare Blitz, but it actually didn't matter at all, guys because um, the Quick Feet actually activated then and allowed me to outspeed the Ponytail. It was quite funny, though. Uh, that burn uh, did make the, the difference of me actually taking it out. However, I do have Facade on this set, too, which is going to be helpful. So now we've got the uh, Farfetch coming out, and uh, they're going to go for the Brave Bird, outspeeding me. I think it's a Troy Scarf set somehow, and uh, that's my Gramble down. Rest in peace, Gramble. You failed to take out a Ponytail that burned you a Flare Blitz. Anyway, so that one's down, but it's all good. Uh, I know what uh, item the Farfetch is running. So going to my Wiggly Tough now, I'm confident Wiggly Tough can live this one. I'm just running Max Health on it, and I see that Choice Scarf uh, rather nicely. So I can go for the Ice Beam here, take the Farfetch out, and uh, that'll be pretty Gucci. So I can go for the Ice Beam on Farfetch. Farfetch is going to actually outspeed me. Uh, it does well over half health like I knew it would, and uh, did some nice recoil damage. I think Ice Beam would have one-shot it from full health anyway uh, with Modest Nature. So that is the Farfetch down. It's always uh, good to take out Farfetch. It's also a very, very threatening Pokemon. All right, so guys, now we've got Deoxys and it's Shiny too. I can expose. And uh, we got the... Um, I love Shiny Deoxys, guys. I love Shiny Deoxys so much. You guys, I know you guys never knew that. Someone write in the comment section. So we got uh, Deoxy going for a water pulse. I've got the assault vest. I'm actually going to be able to lift that one, but I get confused. Man, I only need to hit this thing with like a dick of health and it'll take it out. I get the dazzling gleam off, which is stab like bye bye Deoxy. It was nice knowing you, but it's got the focus sash, of course, people. So uh, it's on one health and uh, it's going to be able to go for the water pulse. What is this set? Water pulse uh, Deoxy, guys. It's, it's broken. So that's my wiggly tough down. So I was thinking, mm, I've only got my carp ink left here. But, um, you know, this would be a nice swap in because I'm running max special defense run. So all I'm going to do is go for the ancient power. That will be enough to take out the cubby. So Deoxy's going to go for the water pulse right. And uh, does super effective damage. And I get confused again. Two times in a row of water pulse, people. We are on a roll here. And guess what? I hit myself with confusion. I never knew that one would happen. So now Deoxys can go for yet another water pulse against me. I was like, please, please, please get an ancient power off. I lived. And now I step out of confusion and get the ancient power off. And Deoxys is going to finally go bye-bye. Man, I was, I was glad to get rid of the Deoxys, people. Uh, we're going to get that shiny too, people. We are doing that one on Twitch. We've done about, honestly, I added all the time of the streams up. We've done a good um, 50, 60 hours worth of hunting for that like, when you add it all together. Anyway, so we got a Rowlet coming in there. Uh, the Ancient Power does some really solid damage there. And uh, now we got the Rowlet going for the Giga Drain, taking me out. So it did live that one rather well, I must say. Uh, I think it's an Everlight Rowlet, people. Now, this, you, you got to laugh at Everlight Rowlet, but you're not going to laugh when you see what happens here. 
So, uh, I got Shenotic, which is equally, like, shitty. So, it's got, like... You know, this is the Giga Era Pack 1, guys. It's a pile of steaming manure, right? So, really, I needed to test out, you know, how much damage I do to this. I thought, okay, well, what I can do here is go for Giga Era Pack and see how much it does first. It's so... It's a bulky Rowlet! Oh, my God! It, look how... Look how tanky that is. I was like, crap. I mean, I'm thinking, right, how much I'm gonna... How many boosts I'm actually gonna need to do any damage to this. So I was thinking... Well, I'm poisoning. It's also got Toxic. It's got Roost. It's got Giga Drain. It's got that Sustain, people. It's got that Giga Drain Sustain. That's the most important thing. So what did I got to do, right? So I've got to get up that Sunshine, right? And then I've got to go for Grove to boost my attack. And then I've got to Giga Impact and hope it doesn't miss. The only other moves I've got are Astonish, which is not going to do very astonishing damage either. So setting up the Sunny Day against the Rowlet, guys, this is a threat, right? This is the threat, most threatening Pokemon that I've actually faced uh, all week. So I take some more damage from the Toxic. Now, if you guys do remember, I got that Iapa Berry. So that was going to be my saving grace for actually healing myself off there as well. So it's not really doing too much with the Giga Drain. Um, it's just healing itself off a little bit. i got to get some growths up, people. So going for the growth there, growing a little bit, and uh, getting a plus two in attack. So judging from the damage I did earlier, I'm going to need at least plus four in attack, maybe plus five or plus six. The problem was, right, I was poisoned already. And also, Giga Impact does have a chance of missing at a very annoying type, too. So, um, I've had times where Giga Impact has missed. And not that you use it very much. It's, it's a, it's an absolutely terrible move. Anyway, so I have to go for these uh, growths here because I've got plus four in attack. I'm thinking, well, I've got my berry now. But the problem is, right, uh, I'm going to get hit by a really, really big amount of toxic damage the next turn. So I was like, should I go for another growth here or should I go for Giga Impact, hope for a critical hit and take it out? Giga Impact could miss after I get plus six in attack. Oh, even plus six in attack may actually not take this thing up. So it's got the, uh, it's got all the bulk in the world. Go for that big plus four Giga Impact. Oh dear. It w I don't think it wouldn't have been enough to take it out anyway, even with plus six. I did the damage calcs and there was a chance, there was only, a I think it was almost 50-50 where I was going to take it out. And it's going to take me out with the Giga Drain and Toxic Damage. Guys, my Shenotic lost to a bulky, bulky Rowlet Giga Impact. This was like the top 10 anime battles. Hope you guys enjoyed both these videos. Don't you miss those bloopers, people. I'll be streaming and uh, come check me out, people. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Bulky Rowlet.